June 12, 2010. From the Lord our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. The diviners divine false visions, the prophets prophesy lies, and every dreamer shares deceptive dreams brought forth from their own imagination. Thus says the Lord to all diviners, false prophets, and dreamers of dreams, even to all who speak falsely in my name, sharing false visions of hell and torment. You shall by no means escape the day of the Lord's anger when it comes. For you have caused my people to err, you have led them astray with lies by many dark speeches. By your false visions have you caused them to stumble into darkness. Deceptive dreams and delusions brought forth from your own imaginations. All in all doctrines of demons which blaspheme my name and desecrate the truth of who I am. Yet are you ashamed of all these abominations which you have propagated before the people? No, you are not ashamed nor do you know how to blush. Therefore, you shall be the first to fall among those who fall. Behold, in the time of your punishment, you shall surely be cast down, says the Lord. For wrath has indeed entered my heart, and my anger is increased on your account. Yet my anger is true and my judgment righteous. For that which I see is the whole truth. Nothing is hidden from my eyes. Indeed, I know the hearts of both, those who deceive and those being deceived. I am the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Be struck down, all you deceivers, even every one, from the deceiver to those perpetuating these deceptions, shall be struck atop their heads. Yet let not those being deceived perish. Rather, let them be humbled in the day of the Lord. For the discipline of the Lord shall teach them, and my stern correction shall open their eyes in the day of darkness. For the Holy One of Israel is great in power and mighty to save, bursting all bonds asunder, breaking every chain which holds my people captive. Then they will know I am the Lord, and they shall turn away from all these perverse doctrines and reject all these evil fables. For in that day they shall come to see me as I truly am, declares the Lord. Yet look upon all these who continue to perpetuate these corrupt doctrines and false visions. Behold, my name is greatly blasphemed among the nations because of them. It is polluted in every corner where this doctrine of hell and, e and everlasting torment is upheld by the pride and arrogance of men. Modern Pharisees, from the overbearing church leader to the sanctimonious priest, from the high-minded scholar to the braggart preacher, from the self-righteous pastor to the arrogant minister, before me stands a whole multitude of deceived teachers who know neither me nor my word. And now they have taken up the sword against me, even me, the one true God and Savior. For with cunning words and clever speeches, they cast down my words before the people, as they seek to bring harm against my anointed. They cease not from persecuting my messengers, as they always seek a way to slay my prophets. Therefore, thus says the Lord, their arms shall be broken in their malice and their wrists bent backward in their jealousy as I strike them hard upon the mouth and upon the sword which they have raised against me shall they fall for I am Yahweh and my name is to be greatly feared. Behold, the veil remains fastened securely atop their heads, and the darkness of their shame covers them, for they have no understanding. For they love to condemn their enemies and take much pleasure in passing judgment against their neighbor. 
for their hearts are full of hate and the spirit of Cain rules over them. A most foolish and ignorant generation, multitudes of prideful people who refuse knowledge and reject correction, a people of wrath. I do not know them. Neither has the Holy One entered in. Shall I not repay? Behold, I shall surely require it of them. For they have robbed me, says the Lord. Is it a light thing to the Lord that they have went out polluting my name as they attempt to cast a shadow over my glory? Is it a small thing to me that my sheep are led into the wilderness by all these self-appointed shepherds, by all these false prophets and diviners, all these so-called dreamers of dreams, leaving them lost and without understanding? with no lamp to guide them. Shall I leave my children to die in this darkness trapped by all these tall trees? Shall I leave them as prey for the wolves of the wilderness, afar off, separated from God, destitute of daily food? Behold, I shall feed them. Even I myself shall give them food and drink, says the Lord. And lo, they shall be set free to serve in my name once again. Oh, yes, they shall serve me in truth and righteousness and keep my commandments as they testify to the salvation of God anew. Yet the self-appointed shepherd shall fall, left to starve for a whole, for a whole season. The dreamers of dreams shall be put to shame and the breath of every diviner taken. The false prophets shall all lie down in the grave. Yes, every false prophet and diviner who continues to speak lies in my name shall surely die. They shall not be lifted up, nor shall they pollute my name or attempt to steal from my glory any more. For fierce is my anger against them, and thus shall I pour out my indignation upon them, says the Lord of hosts. I am the Lord, and my ways are not human ways, for my mercy endures forever, and my anger has an end. Thus those who highly esteem themselves shall be broken in pieces, and those who profess themselves to be wise shall be made the fool. Indeed, the self-appointed shall fall hard upon their faces, severely abased, for by no other means shall they be brought into perfection, says the Lord.